bet she made that up on the spot. Once again, the stream of the craft has been underflow. It was dry for so long. The water has flowed to me from the desert. The storm is coming. Have you heard of the city? The deep city, the ancient home? Projection is physical enough to move that board. And yet you can walk right through it. Okay, never mind. It's not either of us's job to point out the obvious. It's hers. So that's a basic overview about Dunny, if you didn't hear. Basically, Dunny, great city of people who could actually write ages, that is to say, books which would teleport you into entire worlds which were described within the books. If um, you don't understand what we're talking about, you should do more missed games. And just, In fact, if you do know what we're talking about, you should do more missed games. I, there's plenty of stuff out there, just do some research. It's relatively straightforward once you get to know the basics. Anyway, so somehow, through some bizarre mechanic which I don't understand, Yisha managed to, through her projection, create a journey cloth. It's which... friggin' detailed! Come on! So that's three out of seven. Uh, every single time I hear that sound, I smile. I'm not entirely certain why. Because it makes me feel happy. Alright. If you note, the power is on. That's why the millstone is going around and around. I am currently standing in a bowl. I'm not sure exactly how that's <laughs> <What>? possible. <laughs> and Why now, are you standing in a bowl? Theoretically, the doors should work. It would have been funny, but it did. It did work the way it was supposed to. Okay, okay. And I am going to, even though I shouldn't know this, I am going to go ahead and know that I need to close this door. You have to close that door? Yeah, you'll find out. Just review the game footage. Um, I've already done that, Age. That was a joke. Uh, Otherwise, yeah. I wouldn't be standing here now, would I? Yeah, whatever. Anyway... Ow. I fell off a cliff again. I practically fell off a cliff. Okay, now I'm going to use the shortcut, which I just discovered and made myself laugh at doing, and fall off again. Hang on, hang on. I got this. Honestly, I got this. Richard, maybe I should have done this. My frame rate is at 8. <laughs> I've seen lower. Okay, so there is a journey cloth on the other side of this door. That's why you had to close it. And... So we've got three more to get. You've got how many? 
Three more journey cloths to get. Oh, you didn't do the ones outside, did you? I got the one on the fence, but I didn't get the others yet. Um, I guess you could say it was on the fence. Don't you dare put on a sun, a pair of sunglasses at this point. I just rhymed doing it. I, I, I can actually believe that. I honestly believe that you did. Because <laughs> ah, I'm awesome like that, I guess. And okay. So, for some reason, they decided to put a journey cloth on the outside of this bucket, which is used to carry water up from the that pool. The butter are fickle people. They're, they're, they're a bizarre and strange and rather inexplicable people. If they can be called And their called name means slave people, which is terrible. It rather is, but it makes sense. The borrow are near hey, on the- guys! Comment on the- if enough people like this video, Richard will speak in a British accent for the remainder of the entire series. Yeah, that's right. I don't oh, know, it's- no? it's- it's just something which I sometimes do, and which I could perhaps be persuaded to do for the entire series if enough people want me to. I can't speak in a British accent. You don't even try. Anyway. American breaks to fame. But, wow, I cannot talk. Oh, I'm shamed. Okay, so now I'm heading off to... Uh, I am literally standing on absolutely nothing! <sighs> Imperfect graphics for the win. Alright, so... It should be noted that over here are the ruins of some bizarre technology from Riven. If you've played this game, you know that it ends in a certain fashion. If you haven't played it, then this sort of gives some things away. But not too many things, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, regardless, um, if you've played the game, then you should recognize that and get a kick out of it. Given that this is Earth and knowing where the Starry Fisher leads. Anyway. So more on that later. And this over here is a wark. Again, if you've played Riven, then you know what that means. If not, then you've got research to do and a game to play. Richard. And... Richard. Or, or perhaps you just don't care enough. Richard. So there's the final tapestry. Richard. And now Richard. I can head back to the cleft. Richard. What? What, Artemis? Did you turn into a crow again? What did you do now? <laughs> I'm sorry, I should stop with the evil sci mad scientist laboratory experiments. They're just not good for your health. Yeah, that does generally prove. Oh, to poopy! Be well, walking backwards has a downside. You walk backwards off of cliffs. That does stand to reason. And you question my ability to handle the controls. Yeah, but I do it intentionally. Ah, yes. Uh, well, I'm I just demon bored. I've been I just around I just demonstrated my abilities in a startling fashion by starting to climb down a ladder, then getting back up, then starting <laughs> to climb down again, because I'm cool that way. All right, Deal deliberately falling it. through a hole. I'm Whee. right now orbiting a pedestal. For absolutely no reason. Okay, and this is the great tree of the cleft. You can Yay. see another handprint here, and now that I have all seven tapestries, it does this, and the door opens. I don't know why Yisha put this here. I honestly don't. But regardless, there's a ladder. Hooray for ladders. All right. Now you get a really pretty cave and a page. These pages which you collect go directly into your Relto book, um, which is down here in the corner. Um, they edit the age. They actually change how the age works and looks. And just, there goes Richard. I was automatically linked out. 
How magical. So now, when I get back to my Relto, my age will actually be different. As you can see, I now have four pillars in the place of one. And this is where the game can truly start. How does one turn it off? 